Monday Night Football, the Los Angeles Chargers are on the road taking on the New York Jets. My two favorite picks are on the road. Let's go 2-0 in this video. My name's Austin from Colin O'Shaughnessy. Let's dive into a recap from Sunday. It was a 2-3 and three day. Could have been so much better. Let's talk about it. Jordan Love under 32 and a half pass attempts was sweat free. I think he ended with 25 or 26. Didn't have to sweat that the whole game. The Rams could not get anything going on the other side. He had a good day. Demario Douglas, he got it jo his job done in just receiving yards, but we had a rush plus receiving. We'll take that. The losers, man. R Isaiah Pacheco, we had his rushing plus receiving. I was going back. Back and forth between rushing yards alone or rushing plus receiving. Once you guess, he hits his rushing yards but does not hit rushing plus receiving. Uh, Chris Olave, DJ Moore, we missed by two more receptions. We missed the CD Lamb, Devontae Smith by one Devontae Smith reception. It was a, so close to being a really good day, a two and three day, now four and three on the week. Let's try to end the week six and three, going two no tonight. Before we dive into the picks, I know there's going to be some questions. Austin, what is going on with your nose? And I'm just going to come out here and say, you guys should see the other guy. Man, now I got him good. All right, now I got. It. All right, we're gonna get this out of the way quick. I got bit by a dog. It is what it is. It is what it is, right? It happens, right? All right, let's move on. Let's talk about it. I don't know what my life has become, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. Hey, if you want to sign up for Sleeper, though, if you want to show some grace to me and you're like, awesome, we feel bad for you, go sign up for Sleeper and use our code COS or top link in the description. You get 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks, and you get the free square for Justin Herbert to throw just one yard. Take advantage of it. I'll show how I'm using my Sleeper entry later on in this video, trying to earn $50 and almost 300 So if you want to sign up, it's only for new users. They keep doing a lot of these uh, first deposit new users guys get a lot of free squares so take advantage of this one for justin herbert i'll dive into my picks later on in this video and you can throw justin herbert into it if you're a new user if you're not like me you can just tail me on sleeper sign up using our code cos to get 100 percent deposit match up to 100 bucks let's dive into the picks though today we've got two of them first one austin eckler great first name over 30 and a half receiving yards minus 110 on DraftKings. now i personally i don't see this line going up a ton if it goes up to like 32 33 and a half i'd play it there there's a reason his receptions line is sitting at four and a half about plus 110 on the over which if you're looking for better value that's probably it but i do think that austin eckler we can see him hit this over with just you know four receptions which certainly is possible but let's talk about eckler who obviously did miss some games due to injury but in the four games he's played this season we've seen him at 47 35 1 and then 94 receiving yards. So he had seven receptions on eight targets last week. So they finally got him going in the receiving game and he dominated and destroyed this line. He hit the line in just one catch and get a 39 yarder last week. But there's look, the, there, like I said, there's a reason his receptions prop is sitting at four and a half. It's actually only a number he's gone over just once this year, but we already saw him hit this in three or four games. It's a great matchup for him against the New York Jets. Now, there aren't a lot of good matchups going up against the Jets defense. The Jets defense kind of carries them, but they have elite cornerbacks in Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed. Their safeties are good, and they even have a good front four that really stop the run. So we see them. They allow the third most targets to running backs, and running backs are only a lot, averaging 3.9 yards per carry on their rush attempts. So you're not getting a lot of rushing yards, and you don't get a ton of production against those cornerbacks. I think we're going to see a big day out of Eckler out of the backfield. We know they still play him a ton. He's going to play 67-ish percent of the snaps. He's going to be out there a ton, and Herbert's, I think, will rely on him in that pass game and we saw prior to last week when the Giants completed really only six passes the Giants didn't even bother throwing it against the Jets due to injuries we had seen running backs do well against them DeAndre Swift he had 40 receiving yards Samaj P. Ryan 73 Isaiah Pacheco 43 those are all the last three games the Jets had played prior to that weird game against the Giants which I don't even count but outside of Keenan Allen Chargers offense doesn't really have a lot of guys. I mean, Josh Palmer's out. We already know Mike Williams out for the year. They're relying on Quentin Johnson, who's going to have to go up against a very good cornerback, whoever's going to guard him on wherever he lines up. So I think they're going to have to continue to feature Eckler, find ways to get him the ball. And this is a guy that we know when he gets the ball in space, good luck tackling him. And I know the Jets have some good linebackers with, headed by CJ Mosley. Still going to be tough. I think this is, we already know how talented Eckler is as a running back, and he's getting a great receiving matchup for running backs. We already saw him a great one last week for Chicago. He destroyed that. Let's hope he takes advantage of this matchup once again. Let's hope Ter Herbert targets him, and hopefully Austin Eckler has a big night in the receiving game. I don't see him getting a lot of rush yards, but I really do like him in the air. Over 30 and a half receiving yards is my first play of the weekend. Now, for my or for this Monday night game, for my second pick, though, I'm going to go to the Jets side, and I'm going to take a tight end. Tyler Conklin, the New York Jets tight end, over two and a half receptions, minus 115 on bet 365. Look, this line's not going up to three and a half. If it does go up to three and a half, look, something, something happened. Someone's out for the Jets, but that should not be the case. I personally would play this up to about minus 125, minus 130. Don't lay any more juice on the Jets starting tight end. But if you look at over the last like, six weeks, Conklin's been pretty good. I mean, as a Jets tight end, obviously tight ends don't get a ton of love. But over the last six weeks, Conklin, five, three, four, four, three, and zero receptions on six, five, six, 
by four and two targets. So four or pretty much five receptions in all those games. Only two targets last week for zero receptions. This is a good buy low spot for Guy and Conklin that we already saw three receptions in five straight prior to last game. And look, I don't necessarily think it was his fault that he only had zero receptions, two targets, or, you know, if it's Zach Wilson's fault, it could go either way. But we saw last week the Jets completed just 17 passes as a team. Seven of them went to Garrett Wilson and six of them went to Brees Hall. Look, there's a reason if you look at the scoreboard, the Jets struggled and won that game 13 to 10 in overtime. Look, the Jets didn't get anything going because they only involved two guys on the offense, didn't get anything going on the ground, which I'm not saying they get start yards on the ground here, but I think they got to get more people involved. If we think back to, you know, a couple weeks ago when we saw the Jets offense clicking the best, it was like against that Chiefs game where we saw Zach Wilson look really good on primetime. That was a game they kind of diverted and got the ball to a lot of different guys. They didn't just have two guys being the main, you know, focal point of this offense. I think they get back to that this week in their game plan. And I think we see Conklin, a guy that over the last six weeks, look at the routes he's ran, 27, 24, 22. 20, 24, and 27 routes. Last week, he tied his routes, ran the season high, and he still didn't get a single reception. I think they fixed that. Last week was a bad matchup against the Giants, a team that allowed the fifth fewest receptions to opposing tight ends. This is a much better matchup against the Chargers, who over the last two weeks, the Chargers allowed 12 receptions to Travis Kelsey, 10 to Cole Komet last week, and then they've also allowed eight to Hawkinson, four to Conquo, three to Smythe, and the list goes on from there. Now, sure, you could come in here and say Tyler Conklin is not Travis Kelsey. He's not TJ Hawkinson. Heck, he might not even be Cole Komet. But I'm not saying this is still a guy. I'm not asking for eight receptions from him. I'm asking for three. And I certainly think he has a large enough target share and he's running enough routes to be out there to catch three receptions. I'm not saying he gets 30 yards, which is over. It's 26 and a half. But I do think that he gets at least three receptions. You also look at the linebackers for this Chargers team. Kenneth Murray Jr., Eric Hendricks, both questionable. I think Kenneth Murphy, Murphy, uh, Murray, Murray Jr. is the one that's more questionable in terms of if he plays or not. But even if they do play, it doesn't matter. These are still banged up guys. I think the Jets will try to test them. And also, I don't think the Jets really want to have Zach Wilson hanging in the pocket and seeing Khalil Mack come off the edge and be like, yeah, I don't want that. So I think we see maybe Tyler Conklin chip on a guy like Khalil Mack. Maybe we see him just go out into the flats, get some easy receptions, kind of build up that confidence for Zach Wilson instead of just spamming targets to Garrett Wilson. We've seen actually the Chargers, you know, wide receiver or cornerbacks haven't been too bad over the last few weeks. So I really do think that we'll see Tyler Conklin get three receptions. It could come on the first drive, come on the second drive. I don't really care when it comes. I just don't see them having a ton of success on the ground. They might still get some rushing yards in there. Brees Hall is still pretty talented, coming off two bad weeks. But I do think that Tyler Conklin Conklin's the way to go. I think he gets three receptions. So my second play of the week will be Tyler Conklin, his over in receptions. And finally, we wrap up the video with our sleeper entry. A reminder, you can sign up using the Justin Herbert and get that Justin Herbert free square. Just make sure if you sign up, use our code COS, top link in the description, you get a 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks. It's free money. Take advantage. These are the three legs that I'm rolling with. We got Austin Eckler, receiving yards, Tyler Conklin, receptions, and Brees Hall is the last one that I really did consider is over in receiving yards. It just was a tad too juiced for me, but on sleeper, it actually wasn't too juice so hey i'll take it 50 dollars turn into 277 i think that is a winner let's go dominate on monday night football as always let me know your favorite picks down below i'm curious what you guys are rolling with in this game if i had to bet a team to win or cover I lean the Jets plus the three and a half just because I don't I don't have faith in the Chargers winning this game by more than three points. I think that three is a key number to get, but I don't really like betting spreads. You saw my record at the beginning of the year has not been great on spreads. We've been about 500 on uh, player props, which we had some tough, tough, tough beats in there. But I really do like the plays we got tonight. Austin Eckler's over in receiving yards and TJ Tyler Conklin is over in receptions at just two and a half. I think that's a 2-0 card. Let's end week nine going 6-3. and three, Build some momentum going into next week where we're going to get some luck going our way in the NFL. And we're going to dominate the rest of the season. You have my word. Of course, go sign up if you want to sign up for sleepers, blah, 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 all that stuff. Other videos on the screen. Go check them out. It's Austin. I'm signing up. Don't worry about my nose. Don't worry about it. We're going to have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.